HSC Chemistry Tutorials for HSC Geo. Fourth tutorial Variation in the chemical composition of mineral. So, what we are looking now in this tutorial is to how to find information how the chemical composition of certain mineral varies in nature. And uh, we first have a look of sphalerite, single mineral, and the question is how, what kind of manganese, iron, and cadmium contents can we expect to find in, in sphalerite and how they are probably correlating with the, the zinc. And then the other question which we uh, look after this is that compare different copper sulfides so that how their chemical composition varies and uh, with this uh, we just look now the uh, pure copper sulfide so only copper and sulfur in the in the formula so from chalcosite Cu2S2 to, to covellite Cus. Uh, we start uh, HSCGO and then we'll take this minerals tool here from the left hand side and we see window and in this blue field we type in the mineral name so in this the first one sphalerite and uh, HSC selects the first match so in, now we have sphalerite here and uh, in the database which I'm having here I have 285 different sphalerites. So the standard HSC database uh, has a little bit less sphalerites but still more than 100. Here we have generic information of sphalerite, for example hardness, color uh, and uh, ideal formula. And on the right hand side we have a list of different kind of sphalerites and they are ordered into uh, by location, so this is alphabetic order for the minerals as sphalerites by by the location. Oops. And now to get information on the chemical composition of sphalerites, on uh, graphically because this table uh, is not very visual, so we can use uh, different uh, visualization uh, tools, and we select here quick XY. This open an XY diagram where which shows now all the sphalerites so that is our current uh, restriction on the on the database so mineral name is sphalerite so they are all sphalerites and by default it shows zinc against iron and we see a quite uh, familiar trend that the they because zinc and iron are occupying the same site in the sphalerite formula or the sphalerite structure so therefore they have negative correlation with each other so to find some more information for example what is this one which is a uh, outside from the trend we can double click and find the chemical composition so it seems to be something which includes a indium quite much and uh, so they and copper so therefore it uh, deviates from the generic list uh, what about the question was manganese so we have manganese contents up to 5% this doesn't seem to be a correlation with uh, zinc not really maybe in the lower end of the zinc grade Rates, then we have higher manganese. What about cadmium? And it seems to be the opposite. So highest cadmium contents can be found in the in sphalerites, which are rich in zinc and low in iron, which we learned earlier. And then, if we want to see some statistics of that or other other uh, graphical view of that this quick line diagram now or graphics shows lists all the elements which are in sphalerite and each of these uh, red lines corresponds to one analysis and here we can read the typical contents of cadmium shift and clicking it we can zoom in and we can find 
find that the uh, typical cadmium contents are maybe around 0.2 Uh, okay, the next thing we are looking now different copper sulfides. Uh, the second question to answering how the chemical composition of copper sulfides vary. So we need to filter this uh, set and then we select several minerals. So first of all we're gonna filter this set and pressing filter. We're gonna filter it by uh, the, uh, they're using this uh, tool to click to select the elements which are in the formula and also select the elements which are not in the formula. So we select that the copper and sulfur are found in the formula. And then we basically click twice the elements which we uh, don't want to see in the formula. And uh, unfortunately we need now need to go a quite tedious job to click uh, un unselect sort of a, a big number of elements. So I'm checking now here for example there's arsenic so I'm excluding now arsenic and then uh, cobalt etc. Why there is no button for unselect all because uh, HSC builds here an HSC uh, this uh, SQL query and then uh, the SQL at some point it comes so long that uh, the it doesn't work anymore so if, put, if we select everything at some point uh, this window starts to respond or uh, stops to, to change anymore. So cadmium and uh, silver we are getting closer Gallium, sul uh, copper gallium sulfide, and now just to find the bloody gallium is uh, there it is. And now I'm selecting using this arrow to select all these copper. Oh, there's still tin which I need to exclude. Now I'm pretty sure that they all just are just copper bearing. So I'm selecting all this with this uh, arrow, double arrow here to be selected and then OK. So now this list is much shorter and if I'm clicking one by one I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see for example Covellite analysis in the database and could use the quick uh, X, Y quick line but I'm selecting now all these phases and I'm my, I'm gonna study this using a box whisker diagram which comes from here box and now actually HSC opens an HSC data which is a data processing tool and there we in it, it it opens the the box and whisker graph so now it lists all the copper bearing these phases so it uh, it sorts them by mineral name and shows on y-axis now the copper content. Fine, maybe I just want to then be a decreasing order and I need to refresh this by pushing draw. So now the copper sulfides are organized by decreasing copper content and showing that the chalcosite it's uh, around 79 and then J right here it's about 70 and then down to covellite which is 66 and the, the uh, legend or for this uh, different uh, marks here this is, is shown here so outliers and extremes and then and you can change these ones by using this define and change the dif uh, change the settings for this box and whisker type Okay, now I think we solved the uh, problem and uh, and we can end this tutorial.